Hello, I am Jody Wolf. You're watching Expose on June 20, 2011, 1.48 a.m. Birmingham, Alabama. Topic, Mysteries of Our Day will soon be revealed. I want to start out and say something here. The Corbett Report, and you can YouTube that and look it up. Very interesting. He says that you can defeat the New World Order, and that is incorrect. You cannot defeat the New World Order. I'm sorry. You, there's just no way. The New World Order is coming as sure as the Antichrist is coming. In fact, the New World Order will usher in the Antichrist, period. It's biblical. The New World Order can be postponed slightly in time, but that's all. What will delay these things is prayer. Now, I have a list of things that I'd like to comment on. Alex Jones is right on. Listen to him. He tells the truth. He's got a lot of knowledge, a lot of stuff there that he's, he's saying. And listen to him. Glenn Beck tells the truth. However, Corbett Report said the New World Order threatened Glenn Beck. Again, he was not threatened by the New World Order because we still don't have a New World Order. Now, Glenn Beck was probably threatened by multiple other sources, but not the New World Order. And um, so bank on it, but it's being formed right now. And those who are working to put it together, in my opinion, did threaten Glenn Beck's Beck as well as threaten Alex Jones and David Icke and uh, and a whole slew of people who are trying to warn the world that a change is coming a change that we will not like the New World Order is being formed to do just as Alex Jones said take over the world by weakening the citizens of the major countries that currently stand in their way. The number one country, of course, is America. Then those who do not want any outside interference, such as Canada, France, England, China, Japan. In other words, countries that are standing on their own are currently against the New World Order as well. The countries will be, or this country, the countries that will be first to fall are Iran, Pakistan, Venezuela, the large portion of Africa, mainly the Northeast. All Muslim countries will be easy prey to take over because they do not have strong governments in place. In fact, these countries welcome the coming change. They think it's the Baha'i. Right, it starts out as a socialist route where people think, and I emphasize the word think because they believe it puts them on equal footing with the rest of the world. It is a fact, world domination. Our government is working very hard to weaken America so that we can fall into that category, and we will, but not now. There are so many things you do not know because it would scare the hell out of you if you did know them. And um, so that way I say listen to Alex Jones. Once again, he is warning you today and they want him stopped. Bad, they want him stopped. But that, that old guy's giving them heck. You have the mystery of the Molech. This is the legend of the owl. Look it up. You have the Bohemian Grove, a secret society that will one day undermine everything that you knew and trusted. Islam, the Mahdi, the Illuminati, a group of very wealthy men who is very much part of the coming New World Order. There's a Project Blue Beam. It is in many things uh, a transporter, a wealthy, a weather changer, and is being tested in many, many, many fields. 
And this is one reason we have so many dead birds and animals and screwed up weather. We have brainwashing going on every day and it's being used on us right now through our TV and hidden messages. And it's called, again, brainwashing aliens, UFOs, and even cities like Washington, D.C. The streets are laid out in coded messages, symbols, and signs that point to the Freemasons, one of the earliest secret societies. Satan is involved much more than anyone thinks. It is simply his plan, and he is diversified. What I mean here, all the things I mentioned are all Satan's workmanship through multi-millionaires who are carrying out his plans to the T. The aliens are real. The Bible tells us they are. Who are they? The Nephilim, the fallen angels. They travel in UFOs. They travel through time warps, interdimensional beings with powers. Not hurtful powers, but move about powers. And can do things that we cannot do, but through these secret societies, they're able to do these things. Not all secret societies are of Satan. They are those who simply want your money, all you have. This is greed, the kind of greed that cannot pass through the eye of the needle. If you remember that story, one book, that it used much more than you could imagine is the Quran. I'll label it as the ultimate book of witchcraft. It is not a holy book. It is pure evil. Read the lost book of Enoch. It reveals watchers and giants. This book was not banned. It simply reveals things that would be questioned. It tells the truth. And last, all, the, all that's going on, all that is evil, all that is being held and kept from you, all the things you read that will scare the crap out of you, all the secret societies, all things that will one day come together will form one single alliance. And it's going to come to pass. You can't escape all this. You can be safe. Your family need not fear for what is coming because it cannot materialize as long as your belief in Christ is your strength. He, only he, Jesus Christ, can cover you with his hand of protection. We, the believers, are the restrainers of all these things, and the restrainers live within you and I. He's the Holy Spirit. Darkness cannot be revealed, cannot rise to power, cannot take from you what the Lord has given you, all because of what Jesus said just moments before he ascended to heaven. I will leave with you my spirit, the Holy Spirit with me, and you will be. Anyway, it remains with us. He's with us right now. And he will remain with us until we go to catch be the Lord caught up in the clouds. So this, my friend, all things will materialize and whom is left is going to go through this great tribulation. And then you will know why all the mysteries that have been hidden from you and why no one uh, and why no longer, though, are going to be hidden. But anyway, I, I kind of messed that up at the end. These mysteries will be revealed. You'll know everything, but you won't know them until you are taken away. When we're caught up to be with the Lord, that removes the Holy Spirit, and then darkness comes, and then the new world order comes into play and brings forth the Antichrist to put together this wrecked, world as we see it crumbling today. He's the repairman. He's also the thief. Jody Wolf exposed.